have your pet look like they've just stepped out of the Old West with this cute cowboy pet costume. Using our free pattern, you can make a simple hat and bandana. Let's get started. For supplies, you'll need felt, a quarter yard of fabric, about two yards of eighth inch wide ribbon, and all-purpose thread. For tools, you'll need a sewing machine, pins and needles, and scissors. You'll also need the printable pattern that can be downloaded from our website. We'll put a link below. With the pattern, cut out all the hat pieces from the felt. There will be one hat top, two hat main, and one hat brim that's cut on the fold. From the bandana pattern, cut one, making sure it's on the fold of the fabric. Let's do the hat first. Put the two main hat pieces together and pin the two short edges. At your sewing machine, sew a quarter inch seam allowance on the pin sides using a regular straight stitch. One side of the hat ring is smaller than the other side. Pin the hat top to the smaller opening. Next, put some thread on a hand needle to sew the hat top to the main hat section. Because the area is so small, I'm going to do a hand blanket stitch. You can see my needles going through the front and back or the side and the top of the hat. And I'm about 1 8 of an inch away from the edge. So I'm putting my needle through and I'm using a contrasting thread so it's a little bit easier to see. I'm going to put it through in the same spot, which is going to create a loop in my thread. Here's my loop right here, and then I'm just going to go through the loop. I'll go a little bit of ways away from that. I'll just rotate this a little bit, going through both fabrics, again, an eighth of an inch from the top. Pull my needle through, create a loop, go through the loop. And I'll just get rid of my pins as I come to them. Rotate this a little bit more. Go through, eighth of an inch. I have a loop, go through the loop. And this is just called a blanket stitch. Go through from front to back, create a loop, go through the loop. And this will secure both pieces together. You want to keep your stitches on the small side close together and it'll be secure. Turn the hat portion right side out and pin the hat brim to the bottom. Take one yard of ribbon and cut it in half. Pin the ends of the ribbon between the bottom of the hat and the brim with most of the ribbon pulled away from the hat. If you want, you can use elastic cording instead of ribbon ties. Sew the brim on the bottom of the hat with a 1 8 inch seam allowance, only sewing through the ends of the ribbon pinned to the hat. Here's what the hat looks like when finished. You can push down the center and manipulate it for proper shape or add extra embellishment and decoration with fabric glue. Take the bandana and sew a zigzag or overcast stitch around the perimeter to finish the raw edges. With the last yard of ribbon, cut it in half. On the longest side of the bandana, turn the corners over to the wrong side about a half inch. Then overlay the end of the ribbon on both corners. Turn over all the raw edges about 1 8 to 1 quarter inch to the wrong side and pin. At your sewing machine, sew a top stitch all the way around the bandana, making it look finished, securing the ribbon ties in place. In the end, it'll look like this and is finished. After that, your cowboy pet costume is ready to be worn by your favorite furry friend. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies, is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.